Hey Pittsburgh, it's Brian from the Brian Riley team at Remax Select Realty coming to you with a real estate market update for February 2022. Let's look at what happened in the housing market over this past month and talk about what it means for you if you're thinking of buying, selling, or investing in real estate here in Pittsburgh in the next few months. So everybody knows that inventory is the primary driver of what's happening in the market right now, and the number of new listings coming onto the market was down, 1,258. That's down 12% actually from last year at this time in 2021. And we know that the inventory was already down at that point and it's only gotten lower. However, if we look at the number of active listings on the market last month, that number is actually up 19%. So what that means is that more listings are carrying over from month to month opposed to this same time last year. So we've been seeing this trend for the last few months. Now what's interesting is that at 28 days on the market, the median number for how long homes are taking to sell, that is still faster than last year and many of the years past. It's not 10 or 12 days like it was in May and June of 2021, but it's still faster than the historical averages from any other year. The median price point is also up 2% from this time last year. So we are also seeing prices continue to rise. So what's happening here? If the median days on the market is actually down from this time last year, and that means homes are not taking, sell, uh, taking longer to sell, then what's up with this inventory that seems to be carrying over from month over month that's causing the total number of listings to be higher than it's ever been, even though less new listings are actually coming on the market. The reality is that new listings are coming on the market that are market ready and priced right are selling quickly. The market is still hot for sellers. Even in the hottest seller's market where sellers are naming their price and buyers seem to be going crazy and paying whatever the seller wants, there is still an exchange in value in that buyer's mind of what they expect to get for that price. Now with a slight cool down in the market, we're seeing now more than ever that some sellers are just not being realistic with their expectations and the prices don't always match the house. Now that's not a new concept, of course, everyone wants the highest possible price when selling their house. Even more importantly, what I see happening right now is that the agents out there have fallen out of the habit of educating their clients and the consumers on the market and helping set those realistic expectations of what the market is like right now not what it was seven months ago and not what it will be seven months from today. That's why who you work with matters. So if you're thinking of buying, selling, or investing in real estate, if you've even considered entering the market this year, give my team and I a call or a text. Let us help you achieve the results that you're looking for.